And a section of South Mugirango residents in Kisi County have decried unfair recruitment of clerks by IEBC in the county. The residents who included university students held demos at Nyamarambe where they accused the electoral agency of lack of transparency in the recruitment process. Elsewhere, the Kipsigis Council of Elders has opposed the categorization of Kericho County as one of the hotspot counties ahead of the general elections. Business was partially disrupted at Nyamarami. held demos lamenting irregular recruitment of clerks by IEBC. The protesters, who included university students, claimed the area returning officer had displayed signs of being compromised by holding secret meetings with a particular election candidate over the recruitment. Why was the interview done in faces? The last one being one week after the first one was done. What was this being reorganized when it was post? Number four, why does the returning officer hold meetings with one particular candidate out of the designated official working places and at odd hours? Responding to the complaint, constituency returning officer Nixon Nyamoya challenged the demonstrators to provide proof of official engagement with the officials. This as Makweni Senator Mutula Kilonzo Jr. called on IBC's chair Wafula Chebukati to ensure they answer questions on credibility of the August 9 polls being raised daily to avoid voter apathy in some regions across the country. IBC is supposed to give Kenyans the confidence that they are in charge of the process. Uh, the allegations made against Senator Wetangula or others, they should clear them. They should say so clearly as to whether there was any influence, etc., etc. The questions raised as to the question or, uh, on the issue of uh, the register must be sorted. Chebukati must tell Kenyans, give a press briefing, every, if possible, for the next 30 days. Meanwhile, the Kipsigis Council of Elders has opposed the categorization of Kericho County as one of the hotspot counties, led by Chairman Reverend Paul Lelioto, the elders say communities living in Kiricho County are peaceful, hence no need to profile. Na kitu ambacho tumeimiza, ni wito tumetoa wito kama waze, kwamba hii uchaguzi uwe na amani. And the church in Embu County has come under fire from the section of Jubilee Party candidates for taking political sides in the run-up to the general elections. I find it very unfortunate that the church, for example, in Embu, has decided, for example, to preach to the congregants, we are supporting this candidate A and not candidate B. What will happen if candidate B wins and their candidate A did not win? Are you going to tell your congregants that therefore God has cheated on them or that the will of God was not done? What are they going to do? They must remain neutral. Gishoki Washira, Lunchtime News.